Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the object.assign method in JavaScript. So essentially this method will allow you to combine or merge two JavaScript objects together. Okay, so it's actually quite useful. So um, to demonstrate this, I'm going to create two standard JavaScript objects. So um, let's define two constants here. So we'll call our first constant, we'll call this one course, which is equal to an object, okay? This object will, will have um, a single property, that being name. Okay, so we have a course, and then the name of that course. Um, the value for name can be something like web programming. Okay, so, um, you know, a student has gone to uni, and he's studying the course of web programming. Okay, now, um, this student got a score of 92 in web programming. So, let's make a new constant and call this one grade, which is equal to, once again, a new object. This object will contain, once again, a single property, that being a score. Okay, the score will be 92. So here we have two separate objects um, you know, signifying um, a university course of web programming um, with a score or grade of 92%. Okay, so we're going to use the, um, the assign method to actually combine these two objects. All right, so down here, let's make a new constant. Let's call this one final result, okay, which will actually be equal to object.assign. So we'll say object.assign. Okay, so it's equal to the return value of this assign method. Now this one will take in two arguments. It's going to be um, course and grade. Let's pass in course right here and then grade as the second argument. Okay, let's now console.log the final results. Right, so now, final result will have, um, it'll be a new object, um, a brand new object with the name and score properties and then their respective values. Okay, so let's now run this, um, this, this script, press enter here, and we get an object, name, web programming, and a score of 92. So we can see how um, that method there has actually combined or merged these two courses, oh, sorry, these two objects together. All right. You can actually pass in um, multiple objects or more than two objects to the assigned method. So I can put a comma right here and pass in a third argument. Um, let's put a new object inside here and say that the teacher of this course, um, the name was something like, um, I don't know, Mrs. Mrs. Water. Okay. You can save this and run this script once again. Press enter and we get teacher is added to um, the final result object. Okay, so assign is used to combine or merge objects together. All right. So um, what happens if you have um, uh, a property in one object and then the same property in a different object. So for example, what if I have score as a property of course and also great? Um, an object can't have two properties, so the final result is gonna actually pick one of these scores um, to be the final score. If I put this score here to be um, something like 75, and then save this and run this script once again, we get 92 in the console. Okay, so the way it works is that um, the the argument that was passed in um, the last time, so the second argument, it's going to take control over the first argument. So whatever's passed in um, last, um, that'll be the actual value. So if I make this one 12, okay, and run this script once again, we get 12. So the last object will be um, the actual uh, score uh, score value if there happens to be multiple properties 
sorry, multiple objects with the same property name. All right, so that's that. Now, what this means is that you can actually um, create um, a duplicate or a clone of an object using this assign method. So let's make a new constant down here and call this one copy, which is equal to object dot assign. We're going to pass in an empty object inside here, okay, and then um, pass in final result as the second argument. Okay, so if I was to save this, actually let's put copy inside the console.log, okay. If I was to save this and now um, run this script, we get a clone of the final result um, object. So this is a, a proper clone um, of the object. All right, so um, this assign method comes in handy, um, especially, um, you know, with regards to how it actually will override um, a property name. So we're going to see how you can actually use this method inside your applications. So let's just get rid of all this stuff right here and define a new function. Okay, this function is going to be called something like um, print print name. Okay, this will take in an object being options. So it'll take in an options object. All right, this function is simply um, going to console.log and we'll just say, um, we'll just log out the first name. So we'll say options.firstName um, and then we can say options.lastName. So we expect that this, this options um, uh, object will have a first name and last name property. We're going to just log it out. Okay, so if I was to just say um, print name here and pass in an object, we'll pass in a, um, a first name, we'll say DOM, and last name can be decode. All right, I can save this and run this script, and we get DOM decode. Okay, so um, this right here is an object being passed into this function. So what if we only give the first name? Let's save and run this script. We get DOM undefined. So in this case here, we actually want defaults for this function. So we want to have um, these properties always, um, you know, always there for us by having a default property if it's not passed into the function. Okay, so inside this function, let's make a new constant and call this one defaults. This will be equal to an object and the default name, so we'll say first name, um, is equal to something like, uh, let's just say Steve, and the last name can be bottle. So those are the default values for this function. So now we can just say options equals and then uh, defaults. So now we're going to get um, the defaults there. But in this case here, we're going to get Steve and Bottle. So how do I actually get this first name to be, you know, passed into this defaults object or to this options property so that we can actually obviously, you know, print it out. So we can do this using object.assign. Okay. Instead of defaults here, we're going to have this. We're going to say object dot assign and then pass defaults as the first argument and then we're going to put options inside here so now so now if there's a value or a property inside options it's going to override the same value inside or the, the same property inside the defaults object all right so if we just run this script one last time, we get DOM bottle. So that right there is a way you can use object.assign to set up defaults inside your functions or even your own class constructors. All right, 
and that is how you can use the object.assign method in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.